morning, my sweet Libras. It's Tina. I hope that you guys are doing fantastic. Welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, welcome, and I hope you'll subscribe. And for those of you that are returning, of course, thank you as always for your continued support. I love Libras. I myself am a Libra rising, for those of you that don't know, and so I deeply connect with the Libra vibe. Okay, so what are we doing? First things first, Etsy shop people, hello, welcome, thank you uh, for your support. If you do shop in the Etsy shop and you'd like to try a sample, of our newest, latest, and greatest called Millionaire's Dream. This is a conjure oil. It has a multitude of uses, um, but if you're working on money spells, things to manifest long-term wealth and stability, that's a really good one for you. I'm in love with it. I've been using it nonstop since I got it. All right, anyway, um, and yeah, it's good stuff. Um, anyway, so that's the sample for the month. All the product orders in the shop will get that as a free sample. Um, yeah, so thank you. All right. That's the Etsy shop, and that's it. Let's jump into your reading. Spirit guides, universe, guardian, angels, and ancestors, this reading is for the zodiac sign of Libra, sun, moon, and rising. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. Okay, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. If you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my readings, I do a nine card spread. It's gonna be three cards for your recent past, three for your present, three for your near future. I also clarify, do bottom of the deck overview, and I will be doing, oh, some oracle cards this month. You got the Fire, Energy, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, I'll be doing a Love Angel romance card because I know my Libras love their love. I've actually just incorporated them into the general readings to talk about your love life. And then the Moonology deck, I will be uh, pulling on for general advice for the, for the month. Okay, okay, okay. Recent past, King of Pentacles reverse, Page of Wands, Five of Wands, okay. Earth and fire energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Lots going on there, Libra. Interesting. Okay, present energy for Libra. Death reversed. Uh, Virgo just had that, just an FYI. Um, the two of pentacles, having to make some sort of choice or decision. The past coming back around to life. King of swords, Aries, or I'm sorry, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So could be another air sign you're dealing with. Could be some sort of recurring legal matter. There's gonna be a lot of different things for it, but let me, baby, baby, what do you guys do? Libra, I didn't get invited to the pate. Look at this, it's the lovers. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with a love situation. Could be meeting a soulmate this month. Wow, temperance reversed, card of Sagittarius. She's impatient when she's reversed and she is not healed from the past when she's reversed. So that may be an issue. And then coming into the near future, also Queen of Swords reversed. She is the air queen, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius queen. Um, she can, there's a couple things. One, she can have some cutting words for someone. She can be telling someone off basically. Um, or withholding information from someone too, maybe not speaking to someone. So. Woohoo, Libra, very different vibe for my Libras this month. It's feeling a little wonky. Now, I don't know about you guys, but like the last month or so has been really, oh, for me. There's been awesome moments, you know, in the month, but I've been like going through one of those cycles where like people, I'm seeing people for who they really are and like people are exposing themselves to me for who they are. And I asked for this with magic, so I can't complain because this is what I wanted, right? But as it, you know, as that happens, it's like, oh man, I really was hopeful that you, you know, you were better or, you know, that you weren't like that. And now I see that you are. So some of you guys may be going through that as well. And I feel like that's probably more of an entirety of the collective seeing that lots um, lately, but more, you know, people keep exposing themselves left and right. It happened, it's happening in YouTube, Hollywood, like everywhere too. So. You're gonna see that in your personal life as well. Um, all right, so Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy, but also a news, a news, also news or messages or communication can be associated with the Page of Wands. It can be very passionate messages. It can be messages from a young person as well or someone younger than you. King of Pentacles is Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy, but it's reversed. So it can be an ex-husband. So for some of you, your ex-husband's coming back around. Um, or ex-partner, okay, in whatever capacity. Um, 
It can also be about your job, your boss, or your company. Sometimes there's like financial instability a bit when we see that card reversed. Um, some of you could feel like you can't trust someone or someone's spending too much money. Uh, like if you're in a partnership or relationship, you're like, you know, it, 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 it could be some financial difficulties or arguments. And again, this is in your recent past, so you would know. And then the Five of Wands is kind of like chaos. It's conflict, it's fighting, it's arguing. There's a lot going on with the Five of Wands, but it's competition. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty volatile energy. So it looks like, and that's why I was saying earlier, it looks like some of you guys have gone through you know, finding out the truth about someone or them showing their ass like, you know, people have been doing lately. But again, it's a good thing, guys, because then you can move on. The star, so it could be an Aquarius. Um, the star is like the card of wishes and dreams coming true. So reversed, things not happening exactly as you had hoped. Also, the card... Uh, um, the star is the card of uh, healing. So some of you guys haven't healed from a past situation. The five of pentacles, it could be job related for sure. For some of you, for others of you, it may put a financial burden on you. And for some of you, it's just the feeling of like being abandoned, being left out in the cold, being ignored, you know? And again, all of that's in your past, guys. So let's move on to the present. Death reverse, now that could be a Scorpio, but could also be something coming back to life, right? The ex coming back, uh, something that you thought was completely over with is now resurrected and happening again in your life. Let's go ahead and clarify that and see what we've got. The Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, Libra, hear me out, honey. When that ex comes back, if he's not coming back with every single duck in a row and you and you can prove it 100%, be careful. Some of you guys are going to be taking back an ex who's like bringing you down, like bringing so much drama to the situation. Do not do that, guys. Don't resurrect something with someone that you know is trouble, Okay. Um, some of you guys like have remained dedicated to this person, even if you were broken up or even if they were treating you like shit, like you've been very loyal and honest to this person. Um, hold up though, because some of you guys are going to like be messing around with an ex and guess what? The love of your life's going to walk in the door and then you're going to be tied up with this ex, you know, dealing with bullshit when you could be have moved on in a relationship that's healthy and happy and, you know, a lot more in alignment with you. Um, so yeah, be careful. Again, some of you guys could be going to court, um, particularly divorce related matters, but it doesn't have to be, um, and it could be costing quite a bit. You could be paying a lawyer. It could be like, you know, you're paying off something court related or you're paying, um, an attorney to represent you and, um, it's giving you like a financial crunch. Um, the lovers, again, card of Gemini, you know, major choice or decision uh, in your life coming up, something divinely guided could absolutely be meeting a partnership. Like I said, over here messing around with Mr. You know, bleepity bleep, I don't even want to say the word I was going to say, but you know, over here messing around with, with Mr. No and here's Mr. Yes, and you can't move on because you've got Mr. No still hanging around. So cut that cord, Libra, cut the cord. You, you deserve better and you know it. <laughs> and that's not for everybody, of course, but a lot of you, you know that. All right, let's see. The chariot reverse could be a Cancer, could be a Sagittarius, doesn't have to be, but there's, you're unable to move forward. There's no forward positive movement. Some of you are in long distance relationships and you can't travel to see the person for whatever reason, okay? Um, some of you could be having like car trouble or buying a new car. It doesn't look that bad, but there's something with your car for some of you. It's not gonna be for all of you. Or travel plans get delayed or, or canceled. Um, temperance reverse the, ooh, the Empress. Okay, so that's you, Libra. Um, it's the divine feminine. It could be a Taurus as well, but she is like looking good, feeling good. She's ruling her empire, guys. She's got it all under control. She's good to go. She's very level-headed. She's confident, and she's the most beautiful in all of the deck. Let me just get one more card out so then I can get a better couple of storylines on this. 
the high priestess. And another major arcana could be a Pisces, okay? Wow, we have one, two, three, four, five, six major arcanas out of seven cards. That's nuts. That's a big deal. So the end of this month, Libra, is very eventful. You've got some excellent positive energy here um, with the lovers, the empress, and the high priestess. Your intuition's going to be on point. Um, you could be dealing with someone with the initials B, J, T, O, R, or A. Um, it could be a Gemini, a Cancer, a Libra, a Taurus, um, a Sagittarius, or a Pisces. Doesn't have to be, but those are coming through very dominantly. You got some of you guys are going to meet somebody like, wow. There must be like some sort of divine portal opening or something because I swear that like this is very strong indicator that you're going to like meet somebody really awesome for you. Like I said, don't waste your time on your past if you know that that's not good for you. Just slow ghost, slow ghost, okay? Or whatever you need to do. <laughs> um, some of you could be getting into a secret relationship too. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Yeah, just make sure that you're working on healing, you're working on cutting old ties, you're working on moving forward with your life and not holding on or lingering on like old energy or old people or old situations that you just know are not serving your highest purpose. Go ahead and start working on releasing those, Libra, so that you can be ready when this opportunity presents itself because you're not gonna wanna miss this, okay? All right, I don't know what I'm gonna call this reading. Um, Let's pull your oracle cards. I'm gonna do the Romance Angel Oracle first for your love lives. <laughs> okay. Holy shnikes. Okay, that was way too many cards. We're just doing one. For Libra, please, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of March 2021. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, so two came out, so I'll just keep them both. Obviously, it wanted you to have more than one card. Okay, and these messages are for whoever needs them and whoever resonates with them. If you don't, no big deal. Let them go and move on. Um, all right, so getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So again, like I was saying, you may meet the love of your life this month, Libra. It could happen, okay? Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Remember that, okay? So if you meet the love of your life, do not chase them away by, you know, trying to control everything they do all day long. Just make sure, you know, or control the situation and kind of push it, you know, into reality. You wanna make sure that you're being patient with temperance reverse that we just saw. Absolutely can be an issue. Patient and not pushing things that aren't ready to be pushed. All right, let go of control issues is H-H-A-K-L. Okay, the romance angels have heard your prayers about your love life. Now it's up to you to allow their, their help to manifest by stepping out of the way. By trying to control other people or external circumstances, you'll only frustrate yourself and slow down uh, your answered prayer. There are plenty of times in life that call for you to take charge, but this is not one of them. Of course, it's fine to have your preferences, practice visualizations, and hold intentions. Definitely ask the angels uh, for your desires. This card is a reminder, however, that your prayer may be answered differently from what you had in mind. Be open to all possibilities and trust in God's infinite wisdom and compassionate love. Control issues are based upon fears that others, including God, won't live up to out, uh, won't live up to your expectations. This was also called outlining, where you hand the universe a script of how you want it and everyone to behave. Outlining uh, could cause you to overlook an even more beautiful way in which your prayers may be answered. So please call upon the romance angels to elevate your levels of trust so that you can enjoy the creative avenues by which true love com comes to you. All right, and then getting to know each other. Here it is. All right, the romance angels are guiding you to create intimacy with your partner by revealing your true feelings, your dreams and desires, and the other innermost aspects of yourselves. You discover commonalities and new ways of relating. If you're presently in a relationship, this card is a message of healing through honest dialogue. This is particularly true if you've, if you're, if you've stuffed down feelings instead of discussing them with your partner. Perhaps sitting together with a counselor will give you the strength and support to admit them. 
Regardless, this card clearly guides you to, uh, toward holding deep and honest discussions for the benefit of your love life. All right, so that's your love life cards, and let's do your moonology. Okay, your hard work is paying off and it's the new moon in Capricorn card. So what I tell people to do in personal readings is just Google the new moon in Capricorn 2021. I think it already passed in January. So the next one and then mark your calendar the week before and the week after because those may be significant times for you. And I'm gonna read you the definition here, okay. It says, first and foremost, this card suggests a new start for you professionally. Whatever has been going on in your working life, this card heralds the start of a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, this is the time to either renegotiate your position or look for something new. Whatever your question, whether work-related or otherwise, a new plan and strategy is called for. You need to take a look at the long term and think about where you want to be in 12 months or even five years time. That will inform you your best course of action now, so seriously think about it. Drawing this card suggests it's time for you to be ambitious about whatever it is that you want to achieve. Attune to the moon is make a proper plan and execute it well. Additional meanings are you need to be more disciplined to reach your goal. Hard work will make your dreams a reality. A very good omen for study or teaching and don't be too controlling and avoid anyone who is controlling. So that's two cards that we had about not being controlling this month, Libra. So make sure that you pay attention to that. All right, my dear friends, thank you so much for letting me read for you. It was an honor and a pleasure. If you need a personal reading or a spell or any other metaphysical product or service, I very likely offer some variant of it in my Etsy shop. So you're welcome to check that out. The link will be in the description bar down below. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.